What occurrences proved to be fundamental in the development of the drastically differing characteristics of East and West Germany? In 1871, Otto von Bismarck's superior political skills led to the formation of the German Empire, during which time the country's economy prospered, inducing its substantial influence in the European political game by 1900. However, Germany's participation in the colonial race, along with its military expansion, created tension and led to World War I in 1916. Germany lost the war and was left with the weak Weimar Republic. The Republic was plagued with various economic challenges which worsened with the Great Depression. This, in combination with its insufficient constitution and lack of democratic political culture, prevented the young democracy from withstanding the Nazi movement. Adolf Hitler and the National Socialist German Workers' Party gained power, eventually seizing position as a ruling party in 1933. Hitler's government sought to expand Germany's borders, which proved successful up until their invasion of Poland, where they were intervened by France and Britain. On September 1, 1939, two days after Germany's invasion of Poland, Britain and France declared war on Germany. This marked the beginning of World War II. World War II continued for almost six years, ending on May 8, 1945, with the unconditional surrender of the Third Reich. In the aftermath of World War II, Germany was divided into four zones, with each zone being governed by a different country. West Germany was split among Britain, the United States, and France, while East Germany was controlled by the Soviet Union. Berlin was also divided among the four countries, with the Soviet Union retaining almost half the city. However, with Cold War tensions creating a rift between the United States and the Soviet Union, Germany and Berlin soon became divided into two main spheres. The three Western occupiers unified their sectors and developed the Federal Republic of Germany. The Soviet-controlled East Germany developed the German Democratic Republic. The polar ideologies of the Soviets and the Western Allies became apparent almost immediately. With the United States' influence on Western Germany and Soviet Union's influence on Eastern Germany, the countries developed drastically different political systems, which in turn led to contrasting education, economic, and social systems. In the East, the guiding ideology was to produce a classless society, or at least to reduce the differences between the social classes. The communist leaders of East Germany sought to build on the traditional German values of discipline, hard work, respect for authority and efficiency, and to connect these with the desirable qualities of a model socialist citizen. In order to regain control of the territory, the Soviet Union determined it necessary to develop an East German national identity. They began to implement Soviet-style reforms and establish communist governments throughout Eastern Germany. The educational, media, and political systems were all geared for the creation of this new socialist East German identity. In the West, Reconstruction was guided by the democratic capitalist ideologies of Western European countries and the United States. The political system was also much less repressive than that of East Germany. Citizens of West Germany, in comparison to the East, were not as active in political affairs. Individualism, personal style, ambition, and materialistic values attained new importance in Western Germany. In contrast, the East German education system was centralized. The communist-controlled Socialist Party of Germany maintained rigid control of the education system. The establishments of opposing political systems in East and West Germany also led to drastic differences in the economies and the lifestyles of each of the new territories. The purchasing power of West Germany's currency was much greater than that of East Germany. This, along with the employment right and availability and quality of services and luxury goods, all contributed to the different standards of living in each country. In an attempt to escape the economic hardships induced by the harsh rule of the communist government, many Germans in the East fled to the democratic West. Between 1949 and 1961, approximately 2.5 million East Germans fled to the West, most by West Berlin. Many of the refugees were well-educated people such as doctors, intellectuals, and engineers. The Soviets didn't want to lose these valuable citizens, so they began assembling the Berlin Wall. On the morning of August 13, 1961, Germans living in Berlin on both the east and west side noticed a barbed wire barricade running down the middle of Berlin. In the east, there is a distinct change in the atmosphere as the physical wall enclosed the country and isolated it from the rest of the world. 
The wall became known as the Iron Curtain. The opposing ideologies of the Soviet Union and the United States can be credited as the main source of the drastic differences between East and West German culture.